Spencer from EliteNerds.com. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the Droid Eris from Verizon. And if you guys were wondering, this is the same phone as the Hero on Sprint, just on Verizon. Um, looks the same and everything like that. Uh, there is, it has not have a little thing so I can do a live video of it. So I'm going to have to do a little manual refreshing here. Should look reasonably nice. So for my, uh, I'm just going to show you guys a few cool apps. Uh, I really got a nice title for the folders, of course. kind of made it a little quick. But for the first photo, I have games. And ha organizing it, it's a lot nice so you don't have to scroll through your 10s, 20s apps and look through all of them. I haven't actually decided to buy any games yet. Uh, they don't really look reasonable. I mean, a lot of them are a dollar, two dollar, and it's not like just hit a button and you bought it. It's like putting your credit card, set it all up. So it's not the easiest way. So so it's not the easiest way to uh, get the apps. So um, yeah. So here I have the uh, I love bubble or tower defense. So here's bubble defense and like Plocks and uh, my favorite right now is Plocks. Plocks is a very good bubble defense uh, so as far as that goes it's it's actually pretty nice. Uh, the nice thing about tower defense is that you really don't have to be good with refreshment or nice graphics so it, it's it's decent when they make a tower defense. Let's go to my second folder here. Uh, second folder I have just a media folder I do recommend organizing all of it because it would really suck having to go through all of these and open up my little menu bar and scroll through all these apps and have to find my ones that I want to listen to if you guys really do like music as I'm sure a lot of you do do check out Pandora if you guys haven't heard of it before it is pretty well known on the internet as a very nice uh, online radio that's specific to you. It does a great job checking out music that you like and that you could like. Shazam is also very cool. If you haven't heard of that, it's pretty popular on the iPhone, although there is another one called Madomi, which is on the iPhone, which is, I personally think it's a lot better, but it's not on the Droid currently right now. Shazam does a great job picking out music that you're listening to right now. So let's say I was in the car and my friend was playing a song on the radio and I don't really know what the song is, neither does he. I can open up Shazam. Let's get that done really quick. I can open up Shazam and I can hit the tag now. What the tag now will do, it will listen to the audio that's being played right now and of course it's better to be quiet and it will listen to it and then try and guess the song. It's not a game or anything like that. It's literally, it's really just trying to guess the name of the song for you, and then we'll tell you the name, and on the iPhone it will say, buy now on iTunes, but here it'll just tell you the name. Something uh, I have on my home screen, I'll just show you guys, of course I have the market, because there's new apps coming out all the time, and they are getting better over time, and chat is a really nice IRC chat, I'll show you guys that really quick, it does pretty nice, it yeah, all the other ones are okay. I, they're a little harder to set up, and you can't do multiple chats. This one, I can have as many channels, chats, as many servers I want, and all of them work simultaneously with updates, which is so nice to have. It's way better than the iPhone, personally. Um, now, a lot of you guys are saying, you know, why, why didn't you get the Motorola Droid? The statistics are better. It has a nicer processor, more RAM, higher memory. I mean, it does cost a little more. It costs $200 with mail and rebate as opposed to the 199 for the Aris mail and rebate. And you're right. I mean, statistically, it is a better phone. And the thing is that I went in the store and I did a hands-on experience and I felt it. And it just felt like crap. It felt like it was just made in two seconds with five cents, and the keyboard felt like it was just going to fall off if I turned it upside down. It it really just felt like shit, and I really didn't want to 
have to it didn't feel reliable and as worthy as this one plus this one had it has the same thing as all the other one all the hero which is nice so it has a modified android with uh HTC here are some of my other media ones. Movies is always nice because you never know if friends say, hey, what's the movie's playing? You don't want to have to go and download it. So it's a, it's a, not that big of an app. You can download it in a few seconds and you're good. I only have one bar and I'm downloading these apps ridiculously fast. Apple's apps, I mean, they do the same thing, most of them, and it takes maybe a minute to download a decent app. Here it just bam, 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 bam. You can download seven apps at once, and it doesn't bring you to the home screen. It leaves you in the market, which is so nice. It, they, they did a nice job with uh, Verizon Network because Verizon Network is definitely a lot faster. The Amazon MP3, I mean, it's nice, I guess, if you're just like, oh, I really want to get this song, but you can put your iTunes music on there. You just got to, once you have it plugged into your computer, you just have to... Scroll down on this part and it will say USB connections. When you hit that, it will say you have it connected, you want to mount it or not mount. You should click mount if you want it and then you can see it. So you'll see it on your computer and you can drag on data. To add music onto it, you're going to go into the drive and then you're going to go into media. should be a folder there and then audio and then you can drag a folder or a single song into there. You can drag folders and it will show you the folder and then inside there the playlist or the album, depending on what you put in there. If you want some free ringtones, Mobilo is a nice one. Yeah, I'm connected to USB so I can't use it right now. It is a great app. Uh, it does a great job doing what it does. The only thing I don't like about it is to play a preview of the song you need to uh, you need to actually click on it and then play the preview, as opposed to Zedge, which you can play the preview there. So you can uh, open it up. I would do that for you guys right now, but since I'm connected through U um, through USB to uh, do this little screen of the Droid, I am unable to access anything that reads the SD card. So the Zedge will open up, of course, and it'll, of course, it'll ask you to sign the agreements and whatnot. So when you're looking for um, at songs, you can look for funny. I recommend looking for funny. They have some amazing funny ringtones, text messages, and whatnot. And you can set it right there to be your um, text message or your calling and it does a great job doing that, as well as you can play the preview when scrolling. You don't have to click on it and then click again to play the preview. If you guys have been on the iPhone before and you've jailbroken it, like I have a few times, uh, what you can do is there is an app, the Dolphin Browser. So, so the Dolphin Browser, what it does is it allows you to download YouTube videos. So let me show you that really quick. So I'm here, right? It looks like Firefox. I mean, even in the description it says like Firefox. I don't know if it is Firefox. It looks like the same kind of logo-ish thing. So pull up the menu here, and you're going to go to More. So you can actually download videos from YouTube, tap on it, and then play it. So it, it does a very nice job on that. There's also the YouTube Spotlighter, which brings you to the home page of YouTube and tells you the latest videos.